Art is life, and life is art. And the more we try to separate the two, the more they come together to form this seamless whole. And what is it there for, if not to teach us about self-acceptance, about learning to love, using our voice, and maybe getting a glimpse of what this whole thing called life is all about. That's what my video looks at today, this connection between art and life. Come along and join me on this ride. Let's see where it takes us. Vamos, mis amigos. In the wild grip of Oaxaca's rainy season, timing is everything, a delicate dance with the tempestuous gods of weather. And this, my friends, was one of those windows in which to dance. My friends are opening their new cafe, so I'm going to support them on their first day. Hola, ¿qué onda? Bien, gracias. ¿Estás listo? Qué bonito quedó. Muchas gracias. Muy bonito. Muchas, muchas Muy bonito gracias. arreglaron, eh. Qué onda, carnal. Qué onda, viejo. ¿Cómo estamos? Felicidades. Ah, muchísimas Mucha gracias. Mucha suerte. Gracias, mae. Bienvenido. Gracias. Cultura. Sí, lo tenemos trabajando. Sí. El menú de hoy que tenemos, por si quieren pedir algo a la carta independientemente. Ahí estoy yo. ¿Qué tal, Randall? Combo Co. <laughs> that den of artistic insurgents had been chiseling away at their audacious project. A sanctuary, a safe haven, where thinkers collide to congregate and conspire. There in the midst of this intellectual fray, I found myself basking in the electric currents of conversation, a spectator and participant in the ever-shifting tapestry of human thought. Well, that was a delicious meal I got to enjoy at my friend's new cafe. And I got to meet some new friends as well. It's a good day. The process of creation is an exercise in adaptation. As I mold and shape the raw materials of art, I may think I know where I'm going, but in truth, I'm swept along by unseen forces, a lot like life. Art and life are both like being a passenger on a voyage where the destination remains tantalizingly elusive. Perched on the outskirts of this vibrant city, I generally have to plan ahead to get anywhere, like a farmer planting the future crop in his milpa de maíz, even as he plants it. Peering out the window of my bus, I marvel at the tableau as life gives way from a country to a city environment. Dos o tres veces por semana me voy para comprar mis comestibles. It's pretty typical in Oaxaca. If you don't have a vehicle to get around, you're going to be walking, catching the bus, or the moto taxi to get where you go. That's what I'm doing today. All right, time to get some groceries. <laughs> Got it. On my way home. A few days worth of food in my bag. Gonna catch the bus. 
back up the mountain. Navigating the tumultuous lanes of the busy highway outside the macro plaza, dodging vehicles hurtling past. It's a bit like playing a deranged video game, a dance with chaos, where survival is the ultimate high score. Art, my friends, thrives in the crucible of the present moment. But ah, don't be deceived. Behind the curtain of spontaneity lies a labyrinth of meticulous planning and strategic deliberation. A paradoxical tango that propels the creative vision into reality. My friends, Teresa and Nick, descended from Houston bless us with their presence. They kindled a bond with Huki. And after we embarked on an expedition through my rugged domain and its cacophony of barking canines. Moises appeared there on the roadway to tell us of his adventures. Hola. Hola, Hola, amiga, ¿cómo estás? Ay, buenas, y ahora traes una amiga. Ay, es Estoy aquí con mis amigos. Hola. Hola. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. And then we descended on the abode of Alo, an oasis of food and company. Uh-huh. Where we enjoyed mamelas, quesadillas, and other delicious comida. In this tapestry of existence, life is an artistic endeavor that blurs the lines between creation and reality. Whether it be a work on canvas or the sprawling tableau before one's eyes, the beauty of both life and art lies in the lessons they bring. <laughs>